Hey everyone, this is Serena Zeppelin and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to manage land in Second Life. Today I will show you how to create a group and use settings so your friends can res objects and change music on your land. Now to open the groups panel in the Firestorm viewer, go to the upper left hand side of your screen. Click COM, C-O-M-M, -M, short for communicate. Then go down to groups, click there, or you can use the shortcut control shift G. Now this brings up our groups panel and on the right side, we want to look for the create button. Click that and that will bring up our creation menu. Now just a couple of notes. So it does cost 100 linden to create a group. And then after seven days, a group with no members other than the creator is deleted. So it would be a waste of your 100 linden if you don't have a friend to immediately invite to your group. Uh, little tip, invite your alt. <laughs> That's what I do. Now, back up to creating our group. So go to group name and type anything you want in here. So I am the bestest group, if I can spell ever. Below that, we will put in a description, the friends of the best group ever. Now to the left of that, this picture looks like three people, three faces. Uh, this is really neat. Click on there. You can put a logo or any picture you want. So once you click, it brings up your inventory and you can search for any picture that you've taken or perhaps you've made a picture outside of Second Life and you've uploaded it. You can do that. I have made a logo for this tutorial, the best group ever logo. Click on that. There you are. I am looking very professional. Now, let's move on. Below this, anyone can join. If you want your group to be public, that anyone can join, then you will check this. If you want it to be invite only, leave that unchecked. If you want to charge your members to join your group, check this and choose your price. I do not charge my friends. <laughs> Now, maturity rating. If you are running an adult content group, you will want to choose moderate. Otherwise, I choose general most of the time. And then we go down here and create our group. Oh, it is telling me I'm unable to create that group because a name already exists. So, let's see. The bestest group ever made. We'll try that. Aha! We have a group! <laughs> so once you've chosen a group name that has not been taken already, uh, your group will be created. And so now we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of this. Once you're here, you want to go up on top, choose Members and Roles. We are going to be looking at the role settings. So now for everyone, let's make this a little bigger. I want you to notice that the everyone role, if you look down below and look at the settings, these allowed abilities, you will see that the abilities for everyone are very minimal. They are allowed to set home to here on group land. They can receive notices and view notices join group chat, join group voice chat, but that's it. So this role, the everyone role, is for people that you just want to be members, receive notices, and join chat. Now, the officer role. Here we see the abilities in the group are stepped up. You can change these to suit the needs for your group. So for land management, we want to scroll down to parcel settings and parcel powers. And here you'll see that <clears throat> the officer, excuse me, is able to change music media settings, toggle edit terrain, 
This means that they can turn at the Edit Terrain option on and off in your About Land menu. I don't think I like that. I don't want anyone but me to toggle the Edit Terrain, so I'm unchecking that. Toggle various About Land and Option settings. This depends on how much you trust the person that you're with because it means they can bring up this About Land menu and they can go in here and toggle these settings. If you want them to do that, leave it checked. Modify environment settings and day cycle. That would be the sunshine, whether it's day or night. Parcel powers. Always allow edit terrain. I will uncheck this. I Again, I don't want anyone but me touching edit terrain. I've seen what can happen. Sure, they can fly, they can create objects, that's why I want them in the group. They can ignore the landing point that I've set. They can set their home to here. Um, allow event hosting. If you are on public land where you're allowed to host events, you can check that. They can manage the parcel access list, the ban list. Um, change parcel cell passes to. I don't need that. Let's see, parcel content, return objects, object management, deed objects to the group. They can manipulate and move group-owned objects if you've deeded your land to the group. So you see there are a lot more powers for the officer. Okay, so once you've selected your roles and abilities, you are ready to invite members. Yay! <laughs> uh, go to the top, and we're still under Members and Roles. Click this Member tab. Oh, there are unsaved changes. Do you want to save your changes? Why, yes. Yes, I do want to apply those changes. Now we will go to our Members tab. We will click the Invite button where you'll see the Open Resonant Chooser. And when we click on that, it will allow me to search for the name of an avatar and invite them. I can choose from my friends list. I can even choose from avatars that are near me. As you can see, no one is here right now. And then once I select that name, come down here, click the Select button. Now what I want to bring your attention to is choose what role to assign them to. So just casual friends that you want to be a part of your group, but you don't want them to have any abilities on your land, you can leave this at the default everyone and then click send invitation. But if it is someone you're sharing land with who you want to have more abilities, that's when you click this drop down menu and you will choose officer and then click Send Invitation. I'm already in the group, but you'll see, you would get the pop-up saying that you've sent your invitation to your friend. So once you've selected that avatar and role, you click Send Invitations, and you have your first group member. That's exciting stuff, right? Wow, thanks so much for tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel and be notified of new video tutorials and click the like button if I was able to help you. I really do enjoy assisting people in Second Life and to get the most of this fun experience. So until next time, Serena Zeppelin signing off.